Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be having a look at this, which is a Telesyn uh, battery charger for GoPro. And we're also going to be taking a closer look at this specific Telesyn uh, battery and comparing that to the official GoPro battery. Normally this GoPro battery would be £25. These Telesyn ones you can get uh, for around 15 to 20 but I got a pack with two Telesyn batteries and the charger for 34 I think it was, off Amazon. All links will be down in the description. So what we're going to do is run the GoPro on 5K 30 frames per second uh, with linear mode on, uh, standard colour. Um, I'll list up the complete settings up here. Okay, they're the settings we're using and we're going to run the GoPro normal recording directly at my phone screen with a stopwatch running. Uh, as soon as this uh, camera turns on, I'll start the clock so it will be a few seconds before you see the image, but they'll run either side and then we'll see which one lasts longest. Uh, for your information, the official GoPro battery is 1720 milliamps. Uh, the Telesyn one is 1750. So you wouldn't expect a massive difference between those two. Some would say the GoPro one will last longer because it's a brand name with better quality. But maybe we're in for a surprise from a much cheaper alternative on Amazon. So here are the tests. Let's see how it goes. There you go guys, so the Telesyn lasted 1 hour 24 minutes and 35 seconds, uh, 84 minutes and 35 seconds. Um, while we're waiting for the GoPro to finish, um, it's worth confirming the prices. The GoPro battery on its own is £25, whereas the Telesyn is around £15. The GoPro battery charger is £55, which comes with one battery and will hold two in total. And the Telesim third party is £35 with two batteries. Um, so you're paying about 60% more for a single battery for the official GoPro one, or slightly more, about 64% for the charger. But obviously with the charger it's much better value because you know, you're, you're getting an extra battery as well. This specific one I got was about £3 more, it's about 38 in total mostly because it comes with the lid. It's a nice small box, it's compact, it charges, it gives you a little light on front, I haven't got it plugged in at the moment, and it's a magnetic lock on the lid as well, so even though I'm holding that at the top, it's not dropping open. So it's, it's great for keeping them safe inside your bag, and um, definitely worthwhile. Let's see how the GoPro battery is. Okay, so the official GoPro battery came in at 1 hour 27 minutes and 25 seconds, which is 87 minutes 25 seconds. In total, it is 2 minutes 50 or 107, 170 seconds difference, uh, which means in total the official battery lasts 3% longer than the third party one. 
Um, considering you're paying 60% more in price, 3% extra performance isn't much at all. If you have to a charger as well, you're saving more as the GoPro, as not only are you getting the extra charging slot for the battery, but you're getting the extra battery as well. So as I said earlier, there's about 64% price difference with a charger. So let us know in the comments which one you'd rather buy. Personally, I'm more than happy to add the charging case. One, because it protects batteries when we're in my bag. Also with the extra battery. And I think a 3% loss on performance really isn't too much to worry about when you are getting them at such a good price. I would like to confirm as well, I'm not sponsored by Telesyn or any of the other brands. Bought these myself and I was just after something that, as I say, looked good, kept them safe and charged. Um, as well as the extra batteries so highly recommended I do like some of the GoPro official equipment but as far as batteries are concerned I'll stick to these thanks for watching see you in a bit